Sometimes I'm too lazy to open the SketchUp model. I just want to do it here in layout. My windows are seen from the outside, so I can see them in every elevation. So what I do, when I put the window in my SketchUp model, I already know what window that is. So I can see this is W2, window number two, and this is window number, number four. So I don't have to keep on counting and seeing the legend. So what I do, I can duplicate this, Shift D, right? Make sure that this SketchUp model is a vector so that our lines will be crisp. Right click and explode. So words, I go inside and delete the colors and I can get each window and put them in my schedule. So, however, because I exploded it, I lose all of the information tagged with it. So there are many methods you can choose to make your own workflow. My workflow usually changes between three, depending on my mood and how fast I want it to be. They are all one is to, this one is one is to 100, so I double the size to make it one is to 50. Maybe I could all align them to the top. And I have my window here. Good. This awning window I place is actually the same size as the other win awning windows. That would do. Align vertically. And this one to be aligned top. And this would also align vertically. Arrow thing. So this arrow would go down. The size has been changed from the original. These ones, I notice I still have some dimensions from the previous model. That would be fine. Maybe I can just reassign where it will be linked to. So you can actually do that. You could either do this or you could let it snap towards a specific line. Because if you do this one, if you change the model, it will not automatically adjust. I have it. Easy. So that method is very applicable for volume two, but if you have been in volume four, you will know that information inside the model brought into layout will still be better because it will be easier to revise without having to work on 2D lines. This workflow of volume 4, what do I need? Let's say I need this window, so I just copy and go into layout, right? So I'm here into layout, I pasted this. Now what's here? I still have the information as window number 2. This is the method that we kept using for our videos before. And what you do is just paste them equally, horizontally, change the scale into ortho, front view, 1 is to 50. Now how fast is this compared to what we did earlier, just because I didn't feel like it. Sometimes I feel like opening the SketchUp model is too much of a hassle, until I actually count the time that I use the drawings and if I also have information here I could put them all in top view at the same time and that top view already has my graphics for 2d this one the only problem here it's not sectioned so you could actually copy this window save it as a model so that's uh, another way let's try that now I get this window okay save as then Let's save it in my desktop as W2. Okay, save. So what I do, I relink these two models. Let's say this one, the plan view. If there's no relink here because it's a temporary file, I'll try to go to File, Document, Setup. Click on that. And this is the one that got highlighted. Relink it to that W2 earlier. ta -da! That means when we open this one in SketchUp, it opens the file in our desktop. This is actually my top view in W2 and my front view. So I just add a section here to have a plan view. There. 
this will be the plan view. So I can just call it plan. And I can make my elevation view. Like this. And say this is scene called front. When you close that, you already have this updated. Now what I do, I have already the plan view in that view. So I'd like to relink it as W4, this one. So relink the model, W4. It goes into the same top view. The problem is we did not set up this model to have scenes, all right? So we link the model to W4 as well. And then open with SketchUp. Then you could set the same setup. Now the problem here is that because I just saved it according to its component axis, this one, even though it's top view, actually says here front. That's because I didn't want to rotate this and you know meddle with it. Because if I put this over back in the model, it might change axis. So what I do, I just get what I need by making the scene and then just calling it like plan. My top view actually is the front view, so I just disable the section using our shortcuts from volume 2 and 4 and call this into front. So they will have the same scene names as the other models. So if we compare it to the previous thing that we did, this was just a scale drawing. So this is a lot lighter actually, because it's done in layout, it's exploded. However, the nice thing about having it in a model, like what we did for now, is that we are preparing for revisions, okay? For example, this one, okay? Let's open with SketchUp. I actually like this one to be, let's say, awning. This one here will be awning. So I put a kind of symbol, I guess, something like this. You can do this in layout, but for now we'll just try it in SketchUp. Okay, I just make a tag called dash dash. I put that over in dash dash and change it to dash dash. There. So now our front view will look like that on in. For this window, right click, reload. So this is like external reference. Click that window and now it's updated. If ever it's affected because of what I updated earlier, just double click that and update the scene. I click reload, look for that W4. Yes, so the section has not been active when we saved it. And it replaced all of our W4 windows so that we don't have two multiple groups. There, saved.